Welcome back you guys, I'm so glad you could join me for another video and today I bring you another short hair tutorial. It's going to be a good one. It's going to revolve around a waterfall headband and I'm going to accomplish at least like three to four different ways that you can wear it. How about five? Maybe five. Let's try it. Do we have a six? Maybe, probably not. I don't know, we'll see. Since there's gonna be some braiding involved in this hairstyle, I'm going to add a little bit of dry texturizing spray right here in the front where the headband is going to be, just to have a little bit more control over my hair. Next, I'm just brushing out my hair so I don't have any crazy knots. For a headband, obviously you wanna start either on a very deep part, like right above your ear, or you can start a little bit higher, like I am going to with this one. It's gonna start it right there. So now I'm gonna grab a section of hair to determine the size of my headband. All right, so grab a nice section. And the thinner section you get, that's how thin your waterfall braid is going to be. You'll know what I mean when we start braiding. All right, so divide into three sections like a regular braid. So taking that first section that's closest to my face, we're gonna take it over the middle without adding any hair. And then go into the other outer, add it over the middle. Make sure you clean it up. And then we're gonna go to the front. Hold the three sections, and we're gonna grab a section of hair to add to the outer section. Drop the outer section, clean it up. I always recommend this, clean it up. Take the section again and cross it over the middle, like so. Now this is where you're gonna start dropping the section. I'm always dropping the sections going towards the back. So this outer section is going towards the back of my head. I'm gonna drop it. And then I'm gonna grab a section right in front of it that's gonna be the new section of hair. So you get a new outer section. You take the section, and clean it up first and make sure you don't add the other one. Take the section and cross it over the middle. Hold the section, grab a new one, drop it, get them together, clean it up and bring it over the middle. And before we do anything, we're gonna take this and drop it. And this is starting to create that waterfall effect. We're gonna grab a new section that's right in front of it. And we're gonna add it over the middle and continue. Hold, grab a new section, drop, clean up, add over the middle. Let go, get a new section right in front of it. Once I drop the outer section, I'm gonna grab a new section of hair a little bit towards the back of my head. That way it will force the braid to go a little bit like sideways instead of going straight down. All right, so to make sure the braid is nice and tight to my head, I'm gonna grab a little bit of hair from underneath and just tie it together. All right, so I went back up and I kind of maneuvered the actual waterfall strands to kind of fall a little bit sideways, kind of like a waterfall, you know, just flow in different ways. So you can maneuver it. I think it's the fun part of the waterfall headband. You can maneuver it whichever way you want it to lay. How about your nugger? Nugger? What is a nugger? Your head. My head is a nugger? Wow. Okay. I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> All right. Let's get back to the actual hairstyle. So you see this thing right here? I know it's not that pretty. The little, the clear elastic. I'm going to take my beautiful little thing here, this bejeweled beautiful clip I found at Nordstrom's on their website. It's under wedding, but I don't care. It's really pretty. I'm gonna take this and just shove it right on top of it into the braid to hide it. You're gonna shove it. Yeah, just like I'm doing now, I'm shoving it in there. Just like that. And the cool part about this thing is you can actually maneuver the little beads in, in the jewels because it's on metal and it moves. Just like that. How cute is that? So simple, but it's so pretty. All right, so after you're finished maneuvering your waterfall braid and you bejeweled it, you can wear it down like this. It is very pretty on its own, but let's say you're going to work and you can't have your hair down. I have another option for you. All right, you guys, for the second look with this hairstyle, we're gonna get really creative. A low ponytail. I know, so genius, Milana. Genius. Yay! You guys, it's so hard. Watch closely. 
<laughs> just gather your hair in the back, behind the, the back, ears, right? <laughs> behind the ears. Andre's making fun of me. Just kind of running my hands down the side so there is no crazy bumps or anything like that. What if we get even more creative and like put it in the front? <laughs> like in <What>? your, like <laughs> a mustache. Get a clear elastic and I'm gonna tie it off in the back. All right, so you can see my ponytail is a little bit crazy all over the place. It's because my hair is textured and it has layers. But I actually really like the way it looks because it looks a little bit more chic and edgy, I think. And I think it looks very polished with this hairstyle. It adds a little bit of something special to your hair, especially if you're going to work and you want to switch it up and you have to wear your hair up. And this is a great alternative. It's so cute, right? You're cute. You're cute. All right, you guys. So since the second rendition hairstyle was extremely difficult and my hands are getting tired, I'm gonna lighten the load just a little bit and make it easier. <laughs> so rendition numero tres is going to be a low messy donut or a messy bun, whatever you wanna call it. We're going to keep the existing little ponytail in the back that I have already. And I'm gonna take my hand and I'm just gonna spread the ponytail around the actual clear elastic. So once it's spread out, I'm gonna take another clear elastic and I'm gonna put it right on top of the hair and the ex other existing clear elastic to create a donut. So once you've created that initial mini donut, you're gonna go back in and if you have short hair, do it very gently and slowly so you don't take all of the hair apart. And then just take bobby pins and secure it, create it to the shape and size that you want. Once you're done painting away your very miniature donut, I'm gonna take some hairspray I'm gonna spray just a very light layer all over my hair just to kind of set it in place. Super easy, super cute. You can wear it on more of formal events, work, date night, gym, if you wanna feel fancy. Make sure you wear something bejeweled to the gym. Why not? <laughs> what do you guys think of this one? By the way, you guys, if you didn't know or didn't watch the last video, Andre and I actually have a vlog channel I'll have it linked up right here in the card section, or you can have the link in the description box below. And we will have vlog footage or vlogs from our Europe trip that we just came back from. Feel free to subscribe. So if you're a half up kind of gal, I got you covered as well. That actually kind of rhymed. Alrighty, let's do the two half up tutorials. I love these ones because they're so effortless, but it looks like you did something to your hair. I'm literally going right above the ears, grabbing a section of hair from each side, and meeting my fingers in the back. All right, so once I grab the two sections on each side, I'm gonna go back up to the waterfall braid, and I'm gonna go up to the strands and make them straighter, like going towards the back. And just kind of separating them to give it a more of an impact and dimension to the waterfall. Taking some of these front pieces out, because it's short. <laughs> And I don't like to smooth it all the way down because you already have texture on the top, so I wanna have texture on the sides just a little bit. To get clear elastic, and I'm gonna tie it off in the back. To give this look a little bit more polish and elegance, I'm actually going to cover the clear elastic with my hair in the ponytail. So, I'm just gonna pick up the ponytail and just grab some hair from underneath, and I'm gonna wrap it around the clear elastic, around the ponytail. And there you have it, the half up to ponytail that's slightly more polished and elegant. All right, you guys, so we made it to number five rendition, and I think you guys are getting the pattern of what I'm doing here. It's extremely simple. Let's see it. Never mind, not, no, too small. <laughs> there it is. See how easy that was? Snap of a finger. You guys might have guessed it. I followed the exact same guidelines as the first mini donut that I did and I showed you guys step by step. Repeat those steps for this mini donut and it'll be super cute and super easy. So there you have it. I hope you guys liked my waterfall headband five different ways. I'm just here to inspire you guys and show you different things you can do with your short hair. Even if you have short hair, you're not limited to just one hairstyle. There's so many countless hairstyles and I'm here to show them to you guys. And. We actually want to film a Q&A for you guys, myself and my husband Andre, next week. So submit your questions down below in the comment section or if you follow any of my other social medias, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, or Snapchat, you can send your questions there as well. I'm so excited. And that concludes this episode for today. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, spending some time with us. 
always supporting and loving us. Thank you so much. We love each and every one of you. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. But for now, I will say my goodbyes and I will see you in the next one.